Neanderthals were a species of early humans that lived in Eurasia for over 300,000 years, from about 400,000 to 40,000 years ago. They are one of the best known examples of early human species, and their discovery and study have helped us to better understand human evolution. Neanderthals were robustly built, with larger brains and more developed muscle mass than modern humans. They were also skilled at using fire and making tools, which allowed them to adapt to a variety of environments and to hunt a range of prey. This, along with their hunting abilities, is why Neanderthals are widely considered to be one of the most successful early human species. Despite their physical differences, Neanderthals were genetically similar to modern humans and interbred with them to a small extent. This is evidenced by the fact that many people of non-African descent carry a small amount of Neanderthal DNA in their genomes today. The extinction of the Neanderthals is still a subject of debate among scientists, with a range of theories being proposed. Some believe that competition with modern humans, combined with diseases introduced by modern humans, led to their extinction. Others think that environmental changes, such as the last ice age, played a role. However, the exact cause of their extinction is still unknown. Overall, the Neanderthals are a fascinating and important part of human evolution and continue to be the subject of ongoing research and discovery. By learning more about them, we can gain a better understanding of our own species and our place in the world. Despite being a separate species from modern humans, Neanderthals and modern humans were genetically similar and interbred to a small extent. This is evidenced by the fact that many people of non-African descent carry a small amount of Neanderthal DNA in their genomes today. This interbreeding, which is thought to have taken place between 50,000 and 60,000 years ago, has led to a small but significant amount of Neanderthal DNA being passed down to modern humans. The exact reasons for the interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans are still not fully understood. Some scientists believe that it was due to the limited number of modern human populations at the time, which led to a lack of genetic diversity. Others think that it was due to the attractive physical characteristics of Neanderthals, such as their robust build, which would have been seen as desirable by modern humans. Despite the small amount of interbreeding, Neanderthals and modern humans were still distinct species with unique physical and behavioral characteristics. Neanderthals were physically stronger and had larger brains than modern humans, and were skilled at using fire and making tools. They were also successful hunters and were able to adapt to a variety of environments. In conclusion, the interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans is a fascinating aspect of human evolution. By studying Neanderthal DNA and the effects of this interbreeding on modern human biology, we can gain a better understanding of our own species and our place in the world. The interbreeding between Neanderthals and modern humans is a testament to the close relationship between different early human species and highlights the complex and dynamic nature of human evolution. Neanderthals were an early human species that lived in Eurasia from about 400,000 to 40,000 years ago and were known for their unique physical and behavioral characteristics. One of the most striking aspects of Neanderthal anatomy was their robust build. Neanderthals had a more heavily muscled physique than modern humans and were characterized by their distinctive bony ridges and brows. This robustness was an adaptation to the harsh environments they lived in and the demanding physical tasks they performed, such as hunting and carrying heavy loads. Another defining characteristic of Neanderthals was their larger brain size compared to modern humans. On average, Neanderthal brains were about 1,200 cubic centimeters in volume, which is larger than the average modern human brain size of about 1,100 cubic centimeters. This larger brain size was likely an adaptation to the complex cognitive demands of their environment and their ability to use fire and make tools. Neanderthals were also skilled at using fire and making tools, which allowed them to adapt to a variety of environments and to hunt a range of prey. They are believed to have been the first species of early humans to regularly use fire, and their use of fire likely played a crucial role in their survival. Fire provided warmth, light, and a means of cooking food, which allowed them to extend their range into colder regions and to use new food sources. Neanderthals also made a wide range of stone tools, which they used for tasks such as hunting, cutting and preparing food and making clothing and shelter. These tools were made using complex techniques and were highly specialized to the task at hand, which demonstrates their intelligence and technical proficiency. In conclusion, the robust build, larger brain size, and technological skills of Neanderthals were adaptations to their demanding environment and the physical and cognitive demands of their daily lives. These adaptations helped them to survive and thrive in their environment and allowed them to be one of the most successful early human species. By studying Neanderthal anatomy and behavior, we can gain a better understanding of human evolution and the evolution of other early human species. One of the key factors that contributed to their hunting success was their ability to adapt to different environments. Neanderthals lived in a variety of environments, 
from warm Mediterranean regions to cold Arctic tundras, and were able to use their hunting skills to obtain food in each of these environments. They used a range of hunting strategies, from individual hunting to cooperative hunting, and were able to use their knowledge of the local environment to locate and track prey. In addition to their hunting skills, Neanderthals were also highly skilled at using fire and making tools, which allowed them to adapt to their environment in new ways. For example, they used fire to create warmth and light in cold environments, and to cook food, which allowed them to access new food sources that would have otherwise been unavailable. They also made a wide range of stone tools, which they used for tasks such as hunting, cutting and preparing food, and making clothing and shelter. Another factor that contributed to their success was their ability to cooperate and work together as a group. Neanderthal societies were highly social and their ability to work together and share resources was key to their survival. This cooperative behavior is thought to have been a key factor in their success as a species and in their ability to adapt to new environments. The extinction of Neanderthals is a topic of ongoing debate among scientists, but it is widely believed to have been caused by a combination of factors, including competition, disease, and environmental changes with modern humans. One of the main factors believed to have contributed to the extinction of Neanderthals was competition with modern humans. As modern humans expanded into Neanderthal territories, they likely competed for resources and territory, which may have put pressure on Neanderthal populations. Some scientists believe that modern humans may have also outcompeted Neanderthals in other ways, such as by having more advanced technology and communication skills, which allowed them to better adapt to changing environments and to acquire resources more effectively. Another factor that may have contributed to the extinction of Neanderthals was disease. Modern humans and Neanderthals likely lived in close proximity, and it is possible that diseases may have been transmitted between the two species. Neanderthals may have been less resistant to diseases brought by modern humans, which could have had a significant impact on their population sizes.